Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Anglo's eyes are firmly on a copper, iron ore, and crop nutrient prize. Sariti's wind move may be further energy transition by solar. And Kumba Iron Ore says public-private partnership providing powerful performance potential. By the end of 2025, the new Anglo-American is going to be focused 100% on copper, iron ore and crop nutrient mining. The new Anglo is going to be a business that is much simpler than the one that we have today. It's going to be 100% focused on future enabling products while retaining enough scale and geographic diversification. We will be in a substantially more resilient financial position with considerable growth optionality embedded within the portfolio. We have an industry leading copper business and that has a pathway to increase its production by 30% just through organic expansion. We will have a premium iron ore business, which through the cycle should be a fantastic cash generator with a material production uplift potential from our Serpentina deposit. And we will also have a very compelling option on food security, which we believe to be one of the best mega trends that we can see in the markets today with our Woodsmith project. Black-owned coal mining company Sariti Resources advanced into wind energy through Sariti Green may be further advanced by an entry into solar power. The suppliers who operate in the area, they want to participate. They want to know what is it that I can add value to in terms of your value chain. Mm. Which role can I play? Mm. Traditionally, we've known of the coal mines. Now you've got Sariti Green. What is our role? Mm. Right now, we're busy with huge civil work on the ground. Mm. They participating, we're bringing in suppliers from the local communities. Mm. Then comes the communities themselves who are saying we are used to seeing a power station which is when you look at Seriti Green we've got Tutuga power station, the nearest township is Sakile mm. and then we've got a mine called New Denmark. Suddenly things change, we've got Seriti Green. Yeah. What is our role as a community? Yeah. We need to take along all those stakeholders, mm. communities, people who are suppliers, people who are looking for jobs and there are interested parties who are saying, from an environmental point of view, what impact are you going to cause? Yeah. The commitment of South Africa's new multi-party government to continued reform of this country's iron ore logistics was hailed by Kumba Iron Ore. We also welcome the multi-party government's commitment to continue the logistics reform under the leadership of the presidency as well as national treasury. Their Operation Volindela process is driving government and business collaboration where both practical interventions and the reforms to freight logistics policy are taking shape. These reforms support private sector participation and investment to improve our logistics network. We are also encouraged by the commitment from government that there will be an increased emphasis on implementation and delivery when it comes to the policy reforms. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.